Something might be cooking over at Netherrealm Studios. Hey, what is up? It's your boy Dynasty, and yes, indeed, Dominic Ciancilo yesterday broke the internet because he posted. Welcome back to Netherrealm Studios. It attached is a photo of this gigantic mural of every Mortal Kombat character ever, if like the different realms. Honestly, really cool art piece. But Dominic is the head writer at Netherrealm Studios. I think even dating back to Mortal Kombat 2011, MK9. Yeah, he's written pretty much everything since 2011 when it comes to games developed by NetherRealm Studios. So the lead writer back in studio. Now initially going back to 2020, Ed Boon shared this post and he even said himself, screw Waldo, where's Scorpion? Can you find all 77 Mortal Kombat characters in this image? So it's pretty much just the photo of every single Mortal Kombat character ever made. Again, it's, uh, it's endless. Dom shared a photo of a gigantic Wall mural with this image made by Gus. Shout out to Gus for making this amazing art piece. Looks great. I love to have this in my office, but yes, Dom back at work in the studio. I said Dom like Marcus Phoenix. Dom back at work at Netherrealm Studios. Now, you guys do know they've been working remotely over the past, man, two years now. How long has this pandemic been going on? Yeah, as far as I know, they've been working from home remotely for a few years now. So is this like confirmation that everybody is back in the studio or just like the head writer with the writing team writing Netherrealm Studios' next game? I don't know, but back in the studio. That's worth something. Like you'd imagine, everybody got hyped seeing that, well, welcome back to Netherrealm Studios, amazing mural. Ahmed said some details maybe? Hmm, what are you guys doing? And Dom said, sorry, no can do. So, ah! Back in studio, working on something. It is a photo of Mortal Kombat. Thankfully not in Justice 3. Does this mean the next game will be a Mortal Kombat game? Your guess is as good as mine. I will say, at least it's not a photo of Injustice uh, Super Superman? New Mortal Kombat art in the studio. What is it for? What does it mean? Is this a red herring? This is just decoration and Dom's trying to throw us off and it has nothing to do with their next game being a Mortal Kombat game per se according to recent rumors. So I don't know, but regardless, Dom back in studio. Is he riding Mortal Kombat 12? Is he riding Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks? Is he retconning that Liu Kang is not the champion of Mortal Kombat? <laughs> Don't know, but I mean, we'll have to wait and see. And honestly, recent rumors make it seem like we don't even have to wait that long. Now, take what I'm about to tell you with a grain of salt because I even got some confirmation that it's kind of sketchy from the supposed leaker himself. He, he let me know that this is probably not legit, but people were talking about it. This is me making my tinfoil hat. Take everything we're about to talk about with a grain of salt again. How many times have you heard a Mortal Kombat content creator say that? So over the last few days, there's been these articles being posted online that say an industry insider has given us some details about upcoming events taking place from now all the way to the end of the summer. And one of these events is apparently a Netherrealm Studios event taking place in May. Again, like I just told you, tinfoil hat is on. Don't get too excited. Keep your expectations grounded again. According to this rumor, the leaker, Insider, ACCNGT, became very famous for correcting and leaking the announcement of Star Wars Eclipse, the arrival of a new trailer for Hogwarts Legacy, and other somewhat smaller announcements related to Rockstar. I did some research, this guy called Star Wars Eclipse like a month before it even got revealed, called Hogwarts Legacy's whole announcement trailer yesterday, I believe a few weeks ago, got a pretty decent track record so far. The actual leaker, the leaker himself, is accurate, however, it's kind of been a game of telephone. And I say that because, as you can see here, in view of his popularity, this insider created a Discord server where he exclusively shares some of his latest rumors, and a few minutes ago, a pretty juicy one was leaked. This is where it starts falling apart. This is why I hate leaks, because you say one thing if you're credible, and somebody grabs it, and they can just run with it. This is a list of video game events that will take place from March to the end of summer, and most of them have not been officially announced. Again, as a clarification, all the dates we're about to talk about did not come from ACCNGT. They came from his Discord server. However, articles aren't saying that. They're just saying the trusted credible source account NGT, ACC NGT, said this, but they didn't say this entirely. So, going down here, it mentions that these are indeed the list of alleged events that could be taking place in the upcoming months. March 22nd, a PlayStation VR 2 developer showcase. Supposedly, they would present the device in conditions. Also, this article is written in Portuguese, and I've had to translate it, so boom. 
March 23rd, a Nintendo Indie World Showcase. April, Gotham Knights Press Event. May, Netherrealm Studio Showcase. The studio's next game would be presented here. June slash Summer Game Fest, Suicide Squad Showcase, Press Event. End of July, August, Final Fantasy 35 Anniversary Event. So like you'd imagine, once articles like this start popping up, people get excited. However, since the past couple of days or so, if this has kind of been gravitating on the gaming leaks and rumors subreddit and people are talking about this, account NGT, ACC, CNGTs come out and said, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't, I didn't say that for a few things, including the PlayStation VR 2. Came out and said, I never said that was going to happen. Now, when I saw that he was backtracking on the statement, I wanted some clarification. So what did your boy Dynasty do? He got some fucking clarification. Some real journalism. You're not even a real journalism. I miss you, Fandango. I found ACNGT's Twitter and I said, yo, I'm seeing you clarify you never mentioned PlayStation VR 2, but what about the Netherum Studio Showcase for me? Did someone in your Discord say that and these PR people are running with it? Just trying to get an idea of what you actually think is happening without playing telephone. Of course, I attached the whole screenshot from the article we just went over, highlighted that indeed, May, Netherum Studios Showcase. Thankfully, we got a response from the actual source who's been responsible for this rumor all week long. And it is, I didn't post this. It was the marmalade on my Discord. I don't know why people are sharing this honestly. Boom, there you go. It wasn't the credible source. It was somebody else in the credible source's Discord that is saying there is gonna be a Netherrealm Studios event. So what does this mean? It means to uh, just keep playing it by ear and day by day because there is, at this point in time, nothing confirmed, leaked, for no other realm. We're still in this weird middle ground phase that we've never seen before because we're so used to the games getting released every two and a half years or so with the reveals taking place at the Game Awards or E3 and right now we don't know what's going on. So I am just glad that this rumor was clarified by the source. If you guys are seeing the supposed Netherrealm showcase taking place in May, thankfully your boy Dynasty is here to clarify. Could it be right? Who is the Marmalade? I don't know. If you want to believe them, you can, but I know for me, like account NGT saying, I don't know why people are sharing this honestly. So take the rumor for what it is. Again, tinfoil hat is still on, still on there. We'll have to wait and see what happens. For what it's worth, Ed Boon's been really sharing a lot of Mortal Kombat Shallon Monks esque tweets. For instance, shout out to I'm Death sharing these amazing Sub Zero and Scorpion little action figures. And Boon says, Where did you get these adorable things? Hashtag Fire and Ice. Of course, Fire and Ice being the canceled sequel to Mortal Kombat Shallon Monks. Hmm. Bit farther back. Rock Rider said, just tried Mortal Kombat 12 box art concept at Boone, and to that, Boone said, nice, but it looks more like Shallow Monks 2 box art. So, you know, just some tweets as of late from the Boonster himself. Take that for what you will. Again, they're just tweets. I wouldn't say tease, but acknowledge the idea of a Shallow Monks 2. I guess, the last couple of days. So there you go. Dominic Cielo back in studio, working on something, writing something. Is it Mortal Kombat 12? Is it Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks 2? Is it an all new IP? We don't know. There is a rumor saying that apparently there was an event taking place this May, but I just showed that again, clarified from the source that's responsible, which they aren't, account NGT. I mean, at least now you have clarification. If you see this rumor anywhere about this whole event taking place in May, take it for what it is. Uh, I'm not going to say it's not going to happen because there's obviously a chance that anything could happen. Like every day there is still leaks being posted on 4chan and Reddit. So, but I think it's best that we kind of shut down this rumor as soon as we could because um, I don't want you guys getting hope. And I mean, it kind of sucks how these articles are presenting it like, oh, trusted source. And it's really not even the trusted source account NGT. It's literally just somebody in account NGT's discord. So figure, hey, at least, you guys know if you see this rumor that it's probably not real and if it is we didn't see it coming including the actual credible source did not see it coming so we'll all be surprised together which i think ultimately is what we should be wanting going back to the game awards we were assuming maybe but we didn't know when ed boone came out to give the award for the best racing game no one thought we'd see a mortal Kombat 11 announcement trailer so it is what it is hopefully they have it all sorted out and figured out but um at this point in time there is no event currently based on the research i'm showing you for nether realm in may again according to a Count NGT, nothing on their end that suggests that's even happening. So take it for what you will, but guys, that's all I got for y'all today. Just want to let you all know that indeed Dominic Cien is back 
and he's posting some amazing Mortal Kombat art on the wall. Who are you retconning? I wonder if Dom just sits there with like a notepad and he's like, hmm, Serena, haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> and he's just coming up with lore on the fly. But yeah, that's, that's all I got for you guys today. Of course, I'm always intrigued to hear your thoughts on all of this. Had you seen this whole Netherrealm May event rumor floating around? Did you think it's gonna happen? Do you still think it's gonna happen? What do you think about Dom, the head writer, lead writer at Netherrealm Studios being back in the studio? If anybody at Netherrealm wants to clarify if they're working remotely still or actually in the studio in Chicago, that'd be great too, because if we know they're back in studio, I mean, clearly that means they're working full head strong on their next game, their next project, and that's good news. It's great news. That is amazing. So cross your fingers, hope for the best. Hopefully the pandemic continues to slowly, you know, fizzle out, work our way back to our old reality pre-2020, and maybe if we're lucky at the end of the year, Mortal Kombat 12, if not, Shaolin Monks 2, I don't know, Injustice 3, I don't know, guys, but I love you all so much. Thanks again for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video, me sitting down and just talking to you. Subscribe some more of them. And go check out my recent videos. I've been killing it lately, man. Uploading so much content for you guys. Like 20 to 30 minute videos. Mortal Kombat New Era Mugen gameplay. Having a lot of fun. Not sure if there's going to be one today. But at the very least, for sure tomorrow. But again, I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything you do for me. You're the best. And Dominic Cincilo, please don't retcon Sub-Zero. He's fine how he is. Please. Please. Dom, don't ruin MK12. Please. Love you guys. Crack, but I'm not superstitious, my